From the Gospel according to St. Mark, the story of the feeding of the 5,000. When the day was well on, the disciples come to Jesus and says they, Here we are at the back of beyond, and it's we and getting late. Would we not be well advised to tell the folk to get a war and see again the kind of get bite and sup for the firms and clachans run about? Says Jesus, what's to stop you getting them their dinner yourselves? They say, do you mean to say we mun wear a ten pun note for breed and kitchen? Is this what you want us to do? What breed he you got, says Jesus, I want here look. So what they went to see, and then they tell them there's nought but five bannocks and two troots. Then Jesus bid the folk sit down in squads on the green gers, and they settled their souls down in squads of fifty and a hundred and thereabout. And Jesus took the five bannocks and the two trooties, and lifted his face to the hilly stead, and thanked God, and brake the bannocks, and gied them till the disciples to hand out to the folk. And he divided the fish among them all, and Elkain ate his fill. Signed they gathered twelve creels of crusts, and the fish bains that were left over. From the Gospel according to St. Luke, the parable of the prodigal son. Hence there was a man that had two sons, and he day the second in says to his father, Dad, I want the share that's to fought to me with the hodden, bestial, graith and gear. Say, thinking that fair for ends, fair for baith, the man divided out, hack em, pluck em atween them, and they that lang after the laddie gathered all his gear together, and off he went to see the world. And the dinip at the hill jing bang o'er the bus stops, fill and fetch mair or he had near thinkless thumbs. That was near the end of it, but for there come a time when the crops fail it, and a fell time it was. The callin was in his last legs and didn't ken what way to turn for a bite of meat. In the hinner end he got a job wi a bonnet laird that bode there about, and he sent him down the home to bait the pigs. And he ettled to fill his wham with a brock, and nobody said, Collie, will you lick? The merry thought on the war he got, till he gathered his five wits about him, and says he to himself, What am I doing here in a state like this, when back at him there's near servant buddy but his routh and scouth of meat, and here's me at death's door for want to bite and sup? I'll awa to this and to my dad, and here's what I'll say to him. Feather, I've made an unca mess of things. I hear rang it baith heaven and your ain good cell, and I'm fit nae mair to be called your son. Will you fee me for your orman? Say, so, awa, he went back him. But lang afore he come to the bit, his feather cut sick to him, and his feather's hurt was sair for him, and out he come running and put his arms about him and shook him by the horn. And the laddie be good for to say what was in his mind about hain sinned and nae been fit to be called his son. But he had not started when his dad cries to them all, Stir your stumps do and get their duddies off him. Busk him in bras and put a ring in his finger and a decent pair of shin in his pair feet. Bring out the beast we've been fattening and slaughter it for there's a party for it the nicht. For here's my laddie that I thought was dead. Here's my laddie come back to life. My bairn that was tined is fond again. And they all yoke it to were a good wall, and afore lying they were in the time of their life. But the older son was at the pluin and kent knocked about it. And when he was loosed, he came round the steadin, and he heard the fiddle and the hookin. So he cries the byerman o'er, and spears at him what saw the terravee. And he says, it's your brother that's come home, and your father's that to know about it, he's killed the cough, for that your brother's back home safe and soon. And he was neither to hood nor bind. He took the sturdies, and would they go in with a lave? So his father come out by and pleaded with him to join the fun, but he didn't know it. And he burst out, say, here, father, I'm servant ye will, both man and boy, and never ins did a counter ye, and never ins ye gied me as muckle as a hog when I had a puckle friends up at the house. But when this crater comes home that hath flung away your siller and the houries, ye kill the prize beast for him. But his father says, laddie, laddie, ye and me, we, we have been together all the time, and all that a haze your ain. What could we do but let ourselves gay? Son, it's your brother. I jaloused he was dead, but he's living. I thought he was tined, but he's fond. 